All right, day four of this Daggone Airbnb edition vlog. Six o'clock in the morning right now. What's interesting about the start of this video, it's pouring down Daggone rain. It looks like it's gonna rain all freaking day. There again, another setback. This is Wednesday morning. Just got done publishing the first episode. Spray foam still coming Friday. All we've got is an open roof system. We don't have the walls finished. We don't have OSB on the roof. Tons to do. I can see the radar. I can see the daily forecast. I can see the hourly forecast. And I know it's going to rain pretty much all day. My Amish workers that's doing the framing, the rough end, I don't know. They don't have, I don't know how they get their weather. Surely they get the weather somehow. Surely they're going to wake up and see that it's pouring down rain. So I honestly at this point don't know if they're going to still come out or not. So, so I'm still going to have to get donuts, go out to the job site, and make sure, uh, I guess, see if they're coming. So More donuts. Let's see if they drink the chocolate milk. Okay, I bought six, I believe. So they've got three down, a couple waters. But it's funny, I said, I don't know how to use the coffee machine, but there's one in there. And he's like, oh yeah, we've already had a bunch of coffee. So they're tearing up the coffee. As you can tell, it's uh, pretty wet. So I don't expect these guys to show up today. Hopefully by three or four o'clock this afternoon, it dries up enough. I'm gonna go ahead and mount that back porch on. Uh, yeah, I'll bring over the skiddler, we'll set it in place. Because I even might build some temporary stairs that goes up to it. Now I've already got this porch built with railing and all. I've built them before, so it was it was old hat to build this quick porch. But what I'm saying is I might go ahead and mount that four by eight, build some temporary stairs. It'll make life easier for everybody. Everybody. But it'd be nice to have some dry weather to do that. Come on. It's about two o'clock. The rain has finally stopped. I spent the morning working on or preparing for an irrigation project here at Cairn Creek, but it's back to do with the golf green went up and got all my materials for that irrigation. So yeah, we're in a pickle right now. We're definitely in a pickle. Here's the deck I built Saturday, check it out. But now that it's Wednesday, we've depleted time, we're behind schedule. How do we catch up? Well, we're gonna have to do some different things. One of those different things is not what I planned on. I wanna install this deck and let me tell you a couple reasons why. This deck can go in place. It keeps me moving. It keeps, it's something that if I do it now, I won't have to do it next week. Or, or whenever it, it keeps the project moving but it also makes it convenient as we work up there and although this deck's not big it gives us somewhat of a platform when we go to put that french door in and as you can see this deck has three sides so it was made as like a little uh well they call them things down in new orleans the little decks that overlook the street i don't know what they're called but anyways it's just a little sitting deck outside the french doors basically the wife says you got to have a little deck like i built down at the horse barn basically so you can open those french doors two three people can comfortably sit right here on this deck but it does create some troubles for me i was going to build this deck like i did down at the horse barn it was going to be a postless deck that was going to hang from the wall but we don't have a wall yet so what i got to do i got to disassemble this railing got to take this railing off the two front corner posts we're gonna fire up the wood miser and cut some new posts. We're gonna go ahead and post this thing in the ground instead of hanging it from that, well, right now, non existent wall. We're gonna go ahead and set the post in the ground. The rain's done. I think I got time to do this today, but I got another point. As this deck sits up there, I thought, well, instead of going through the house as we continue this construction, let's go ahead and build a set of temporary stairs up this side on the deck. Well, then I thought, because I drove to Columbus and it's like an hour and a half drive to this place, so my mind just went all day you know it's just it's not the over and out yet hold on <laughs> so i'm thinking if i build temporary stairs to this maybe we go ahead and build permanent stairs so that you can get out of the hot tub or go up to the master bedroom come out the master bedroom i mean i've got the cedar well i got it in pole form but i've got the cedar i've got the sawmill i, I kind of got the time right now because i don't have nothing else i can do Wednesday evening, let's keep moving on this. I'm not for sure about the stairs yet, but it's a highly, highly likely possibility at this point in the game. I've got the two post locations laid out. After further investigation, if I put stairs off that side, it's gonna get way too far out into the driving zone and they'd get hit. So we still might build some temporary stairs 
pretty steep ones just for construction purposes. I'm gonna get cocoa on digging these holes. I'm gonna go to the sawmill. You know, it'd be really cool is if I could get these two posts cut before Coco gets those holes dug. Challenge. When's the evening challenge? Commence now. And my goodness, things are starting to green up. You thought I was shitting you, but I'm really working on an irrigation project too, just getting started. Back here at the mill shop, I have several eight foot four by sixes. Got towed out. I know, it's messy. It's getting really messy. I need to get in here and clean this thing. That was kind of one of the reasons I built this mill shop back here, so I could keep it a little bit more messy and not have to clean up each time. So, since, oh, well, we got up here. Ooh. Oh, it's five and three quarter. Five and a half. Damn it. Three and a half. Almost got lucky. So those are definitely the length we need. It's not big enough. Typically when I cut, I do cut store-bought dimensions. So you're lacking your three quarters of an inch or a half inch. For some reason I I built that to full actual dimensions. All right, so we're gonna have two new victims here. Looks like I can get them both out of this. Uh, unfortunately, we got to do a little prep work. We got some bolts and some wire to pull out. We're gonna grab the mini hoe, but it looks like my water shed here, it's epic fail on this uh, irrigation. Let's take a peek of it. Oh yeah. So I had this trench opened up last night. As you can see, my pipe has floated. I think it's still together, but it's definitely floated. So before I take the hoe, I'm gonna cut a little drainage ditch here. Try not to hit the water line. Took about 28 minutes to do that. Coco's done with his holes, but I haven't inspected them yet, so technically he might not be done. Oh, he's deep enough. Yeah, look good. Now the job's gonna be shut down, absolutely shut down. <laughs> the inspector is on site. I've seen the video on it. It's looking good, bud. That's what we like to hear the inspector say. It's looking good.
slide there real fast, but it might. First thing you need to do is tap the bottom out down the hole close to the bottom. Easy, easy. That's good, that's good. The side you're on, tap it towards Rondo a little bit. That face where it's open so much. Huh? Oh, that's pretty wet, Rondo. Is that gonna pass inspection? That's pretty wet. No! <laughs> it ain't gonna pass inspection. Rondo's gonna do a slump test. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's about all I could do today. I don't want to put another railing up. This, I feel like, gives an opportunity. You know, it gives us another four feet if they want to put up uh, walk boards because we're getting pretty tall here. So I, it's something I could do. Hopefully it'll help. Definitely can't do the staircase ideal I've mentioned. We'd be way out. I mean, we could, if we wanted to, and, I, and my wife would probably say yes, but we could actually go out to the east, down at the corner post, and then turn and go down. That would work, but this addition is going to have carpet, so I don't know if that's a wise idea to be able to travel that quickly back and forth. Uh, we'll use the ladders tomorrow. I might mention if they want some temporary stairs built, see what they say. Um, so, yeah, so like when we we're handing up all that pine, them 16 footers and 12 footers, we can go right, right through here. Because uh, hopefully by tomorrow, we have a French door, we have our windows, OSB, dried in. So tomorrow when they quit at 3.30, they'll be out of the way. I'll start drilling holes for wire. I don't know, guys. Stay tuned. Karen Creek. Over and out. I liked the comments yesterday. Well, I guess the good news is I don't have to get donuts tomorrow because they're still in there on the counter. I think they'll be all right.